This is the Amazon Fire Phone. It's Amazon's first foray into smartphones, and with it, they take on 3D and an interesting feature that lets you scan the world around you. I'm Jessica Dahlcourt for CNET, and I'm gonna take you on a very quick tour. But first, the specs. The phone has a 4.7 inch 720p HD resolution. It's a little bit less than some of the phones that we're seeing today, but then again, the phone is smaller too. Amazon said it was really important for them to create a phone that you could hold and operate in one hand if you don't have big old pots. Uh, so far, I find that this is true, and some of the gestures and movements that Amazon has also built into this phone help along with that, but we'll get to those later. The phone is black, and it has a very slightly rubberized rim that runs all the way around it. I found that this was good for gripping. There's Gorilla Glass 3 on the front and the back, so it creates a nice, a slick surface that is actually warm to the touch because it's been held for quite a while. It does pick up smudges, but it also increases the premium look and feel a little bit. The phone wouldn't jump off the shelf for its build quality, but when you look closely, you see that there is a little bit of an attention to detail. Still, I don't look at it and think luxury. You'll notice that there are five cameras on the very front of the phone and one home button. Now, the cameras are here for motion detection. It actually tracks the distance between your head and the device and also figures out where you're looking. And so that creates a 3D effect. Only one of these cameras is actually going to be used to take selfies, and that is the one slightly off center, just to the right of the speaker grill on the top. Now, the home button has three functions. First of all, it takes you to the home screen slash carousel. Um, that you can use to navigate around uh, some top-level apps. These are purely optional and customizable. You can unpin them if you want to remove. The home button also opens up the app grid where you can look at the apps that you have on the device and also those that are stored in the cloud. And these kind of move too when you tilt the phone. And lastly, if you press and hold, you will get a voice assistant. This is based on the same technology as the one found on Amazon Fire TV. It is not run by Google. There is a Google element, however, and that is that the OS is based on Android. It's completely forked, so you can't get into Google Play. You have to use Amazon's apps. There are 240,000 of those as of today. It is based on Android Jelly Bean, but it does pull in some of the memory compression found in KitKat. And this is the Amazon Fire OS version 3.5. On the back, you have a 13 megapixel camera with optical image stabilization. There's an LED flash as well. On the side next to the volume controls, you have a dual function button. Press it once to launch the camera. You can press it again to take a picture. If you press and hold the button, that is the feature that will scan the world around you. It will identify music, a URL, and open a page. There's optical character recognition, so you can uh, scan a poster with a phone number or a business card and be able to capture the business card. It will also scan barcodes, or if you just hold up a common object, it will identify that as well. Under the hood, you've got a 2.2 gigahertz quad-core Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 processor, so that's pretty fast. Two gigabytes of RAM in here as well. Battery life is 2,400 milliamp hours, and there is a promised video playback time of 11 hours. Now let's take a closer look at the 3D feature. Amazon is calling this dynamic perspective, and it shows up in a couple different ways. Uh, so first of all, uh, the lock screen image is deep and rich, and if you move it around, you can kind of look into the background a little bit, so it looks like you're there. Uh, second of all, with mapping, when you zoom in on a location, if you tilt the phone, you can sort of see the street name around it and identify some of the features of the landmark, in our case, the Space Needle, since we're in Seattle. If you're on the web browser, you can also tilt the phone up and down in order to scroll. Uh, some other motions include flicking your wrist to the right or to the left to pull out additional menus and turning it even further to see a subcontext menu. Now, all of these are customizable and controllable in the settings. Of course, the phone does also tie into all of Amazon's own software and services, and you will get Amazon Prime for a year. I'm Jessica Dahlcourt for CNET. This has been your first look at the Amazon Fire Phone. For even more information and hands-on impressions, go to CNET.com.